What is going on guys? We are doing yet again another update on the tank that you haven't seen yet, really, uh, because I haven't posted the move in video yet or any of the other updates just because um, I haven't gotten it, I haven't gotten to it yet. <clears throat> but uh, I wanted to go ahead and try and help some people out if people are interested in doing urchins in their tank. So this is round two trying to do a long spine and a pin cushion. Uh, I'll go ahead and zoom in on them uh, after after we get finished uh, filming this little part right here. But um, wanted to try and help anybody out who has watched other videos, sees all the merits of trying to do uh, urchins, um, but actually hasn't done them yet because I haven't been able to acclimate them yet. And I am pretty dead on sure that my tank is ready for them. Um, the, the vitals are normal in there. I've got a little bit in my uh, lagoon tank. I've got a little bit of red slime that's starting to come up, but that, that's, I think that's just because the flow is a little low. Um, but with that in mind, um, I wanted to go ahead and post this just so you guys can see how I'm trying it. I'm gonna post this tonight. A couple days, we're gonna go ahead and post a new video just to see how things turned out. Um, and hopefully this helps you guys out. So. Pro style, maybe. Um, we're also doing a bumblebee, uh, <laughs> a bumblebee um, snail as well right now. So, um, <clears throat> but basically, I've got the slow drip. Um, yeah, you can you can see them. I've got the little innovative marine uh, slow drips. They're pretty good. Um, their little um, suction start, you know, push start does not work. So you still got to suck start them. Um, but having the uh, having the little adjuster on how much you're doing that actually is helpful so that's good um, parameters today were at 1025 salinity in the tank the long spine was at 1023 the pin cushion was at 1024 so um, I gave about an hour to 45 minutes on the first run also had a smaller pin cushion or a uh, long spine uh, than this one. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe a slightly bigger one uh, will help. The the long spine that I put in the main six foot tank, he didn't last but maybe uh, a day. He started losing his spines uh, within a day. The pin cushion I was pretty surprised. He seemed pretty happy I thought. Um, but he was gone basically within three to four days. So that was kind of sad. I don't like to lose any kind of livestock, even if you don't, can't really connect with it. I think these are pretty cool. So um, we are about an hour in. Yeah, we're about an hour in on the, uh, the drip on these guys. So uh, let's go ahead and test to see how the salinity is going. So if you guys don't already have a Milwaukee re digital refractometer, freaking get one. You're wasting your time. You spend a lot of money on a lot of stuff in this hobby. Uh, these go on sale a couple times a year. You'll save like 10 bucks, you know, if you get the five or 10% off. But um, this is probably one of the most invaluable tools that you can buy because it's dead on accurate. So I've already zeroed this one out using my Aurora water. So um, we're first gonna head and test the pink cushion. Read it, boom, 1024. So we need at least another hour. Um, I was expecting to do two hours on this, so not surprised. And if you're asking why am I testing it midway through, well, it's because these guys are not necessarily hard to keep, they're hard to acclimate. So I haven't seen any other videos, even though there might be uh, some other videos on trying to get these guys up and going. So I'm going to basically make sure that what the apparatus that they are acclimating in hits the desired salinity level. So, uh, man, so we're at an hour in. I am still at 1023 on this one and I gotta go up to 1025. Um, I might increase the slow drip on this just because this will take a while. Um, but I'm not going to rush it, so I'll maybe increase, I actually did increase the drip on the long spine already once. Um, this is 
the pin cushion is one, two, three, four, five. I'd say two drips a second, maybe ish. Um, I would say the long spine is at three to four drips a second. So, yeah, just for the sake of being on the cautious side, I'm just going to take the time. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, check back in in a couple days to see how this turns out. So, talk to you soon. Oh, wait, I didn't even uh, show you the little guys first. That's part of why you're here to see it. There we go. Alright, so we got Mr. Longspine right there. And I'm video casting using my phone as well on the remote photography. So give me a second, bear with me. I got a point to focus in there. There you go. So you can see Mr. Longspine there. And then over here, let's go ahead and zoom in there. That's the camera. Can you do it? And let's try it again. We're trying. Camera's trying. Well, there we go. Mr. Bumblebee and Mr. Pincushion. So, I think Bumblebee's going to do just fine. He's really cute. I'm excited. It's my first Bumblebee. And uh, we'll check in in a few days. Thanks for watching, guys.